The statue here is Lady Justice of, uh, of uh, Rome. The same lady was in Greece and her name was uh, Tamis, Thames. And before she was in Egypt, in ancient Egypt, but the scales and the saw the same, exactly the same thing. And her name was Ma'at. And the name Magistrate is coming from Ma'at. Ma, me, gistru, eight. Ma'at. The beginning and the end is Ma'at of Magistrate. Uh, so it's all the same thing, it's all Egypt. Blindfolded. Oh, we can see that. Huh? And here it says it's not the real one anymore. The independence, um, here it says it was destroyed a couple of times by the independence movement of the uh, Bellier in the, uh, in the Jura. Wow. In fact, connected to the, uh, some other liberation movements of the Basque and the, uh, the Irish. So there was Ma'at. And here's another sort of temple. It's really full of it here. And here's the Sun Hieroglyphics. That's mean buy your stuff here. We're also pharaonic and uh, make a good business like together. They even carved it in wood. So in front of this uh, very old obelisk with a grain on it with the uh, joining uh, Mr. Blocher was living here. Mr. Blocher, he was uh, one of the seven Swiss presidents a couple of years ago. And he uh, has to be considered as uh, the Swiss uh, Mr. Adolf Hitler. Uh, he's trying to put uh, the Swiss against the foreigners in a sort of a uh, hatred thing to put them up against each other. He doesn't really hate foreigners because most of his workers in his big factory are foreigners. He just wants to divide and rule. So here on the other side is the, uh, the big Freemasonry lodge where he went in all the time, you see? The lodge. So let's go and have a look. So and this is where he went eating all the time. You see the Templars Cross. Union, you see, Union. Yeah, oh, we know that guy. Hey, mate. Yeah, so it says restaurants. Yeah. So, and actually, uh, these guys here, they lent Mr. Blocher all the money so he could buy his first big factory, the Ems. And he could pay it back without any interest. Interest. On one condition, he should uh, go into the, uh, on the, on the highest level of Swiss politics and represent the Freemasons there. So this guy is a traitor. Yeah. Wow, you even got a, uh, a Peace Nobel Prize, this guy, uh, Freemason. It's unbelievable. So this is one Mr. Blocher's lodge in Bern is on the other side. Well, what more to say? What more to say? And that's the church with the obelisks. Switzerland is where the money is and America is where the armies are. Here's again this uh, Napoleon's Bridge in Bern. Here's the all-seeing eye, the triangle of the, of the Freemasons and the all-seeing eye as on the dollar. Obelisks on top, one, two and this is everywhere. Isis, Isis Sun hieroglyphics. Okay. In Bern. This is the main police station in the capital of Switzerland, Bern. You see, police. Two times a grail, one time a year. But this is where we came from. Four. This is the, uh, the, the Freemasonry triangle. And in the middle is the all seeing eye, like on the dollar. And the chain has exactly 33 pieces. As are 33 degrees with the Freemasons. That's the world domination. So who's ruling here? The Swiss? The Europeans? No. Nah. The Swiss are only in people around 400% with the system and betray their neighbor. 
So there it is again, the old seeing eye. You see it's an eye. That's on the dollar. 33 pieces. Uh, it's clear. This was only in people that hate foreigners. They hate about everybody. That's why the, the, the pharaohs like them so much. Because that's their system. Divide and rule. So who's that? Isis. So this is again Isis all over. Oh. I haven't seen this before. Uh, the sun hieroglyphics. Nice. Or like on the American airplanes with the star in the middle. Yeah. So this is why. So this is the Justice Department in Bern. With Isis two times. The Freemasonry Triangle. And two obelisks. There's one. Here's the other one. So who's ruling here? The Europeans? No. It was like a temple. Amtals. And there's everywhere the Freemasonry Triangle. No. With underneath the sun hieroglyphics. In another form. It's not round here. But later on it gets round. Never mind. So here they murder people. Like last year in 2010, they murdered Wolfgang Umfogel. He was an Austrian guy who wanted to sell uh, CDs with information about uh, um, very rich, uh, like uh, Germans mostly, who. Uh, uh, he was a hero, you know, he wanted to uh, do something against tax evasion. Because tax evasion makes rich richer and poor poorer. The rich people, they all come here in Switzerland, you know, they, they rent a place, they don't even live there. And they, um, so they don't pay any more taxes. They pay very low taxes. So at home they don't pay any more taxes. And um, so the taxes have to be paid back home and they're all going to be on the uh, on the backs of poor people and poor poor people are getting poorer and rich people are getting richer is how it works and uh, Wolfgang Umfogel he wanted to do something against that and uh, they uh, arrested him and in two weeks time only they didn't say anybody who was here not his government the Austrian government not the embassy not his parents and they mur he was suicided in here within two weeks only. And the type of torture, what happens here is called O2T, O2 for oxygen and T for torture. And they put people in cells where there's not enough oxygen. And because of the lack of oxygen, there will be a hypoxia, which is a lack of oxygen in the human tissue. So the uh, subject is being tortured in every cell of his body, you see. And uh, because of that, there will be a glycolysis which will, which is the, uh, the organism starts burning up its own sugars and um, because of that there will be uh, lactic acids will be pro produced and uh, people get very depressive and this is the same thing happening with the famous waterboarding a guy get dipped under water or with a piece of uh, tissue on his head and when he comes out of the water he's gasping for air and he's going like <gasps> He never gets enough oxygen in his uh, organism to nourish the blood with, so he's being tortured in every cell of his body. And it is a human fact, it is a medical fact, where when a human being breathes in, it's 80% it's, uh, of the oxygen that goes to the head first. So if there's not enough oxygen, you get serious problems in the head first. You know, that's where the information is. So this is why O2T it's so nice, the CIA and the MI6 and all the lot, they think it's so nice. And this is why the geezers in uh, Guantanamo and the orange suits, they all have this mask on their noses. And we all ask ourselves, why do they have these masks? What for? Are they working on something, you know? No. Well, like this, they're being tortured in front of the cameras. They can never get enough oxygen to nourish the blood with. And this is happening here as well. And this is how people are being tortured, Muslim people. In, uh, in Guantanamo and by the Yanks and uh, well of course Switzerland and, and America well, they all these two countries have very much in common that they are completely ruled by the pharaohs oh, really completely 
And this is how they work together. Switzerland has the money, the banks, it's safe, and we are also oh neutral, they say. <laughs> and the Americans, they kill people all over. They have the armies. Yeah. But the rich Americans, they all put their money in Switzerland. I bet you do. I bet they do. All rich people never paid any taxes, you know. I look at the uh, nobility, the, uh, the upper class and the, uh, the nobles, you know. They took the taxes, they never paid any taxes. You think Prince Charles ever paid or his family, the Windsors, did they pay any taxes? No, they take taxes. They have a gay life. So this is the, this is the uh, Holy Ghost Church in front of the Bahnhof, the train station in Bern. You got the Triangle of the Freemasons. There, again there, the grail, it means our blood is here, even the joining on top of it. And the most important, there are four big obelisks. There's one, there's one, there's one behind, and there's one here. So what's an obelisk doing on a church? Now that's the priest of Amun. All religions, they're all coming from Egypt anyway. The, uh, the Muslims even say Egypt is the mother of Islam. It's all the same thing. They got uh, uh, Jewish actors in them, like Moses and Abraham, the Bible and the Quran. It's all the same thing. Only the Muslims are circumcised as the, uh, as the pharaohs are. But of course, the Americans, they're all circumcised uh, as, well, as well. They're all, they're almost true pharaohs. And if you see the army, their armies, their Roman armies, they all got, they got no hair, they're all bald, cut, cut on the skin, like pharaohs are, and they're all circumcised. There's a big pharaonic army they have in Iraq and in, uh, uh, everywhere in the world. So here we are in Hindelbank, next to Bern. This is the devil with his horns. And there's an obelisk here with a grain on it. And the obelisk stands for the god Osiris and the water for the goddess Isis. And actually in Switzerland they have, a, a, there are many, many, many fathers who can't see their sons. And this is also the pharaonic uh, idea of uh, Isis and the sisters of Isis because Isis she had a, a, a her man her husband was Osiris and they had a child was Horus and then she played the man against each other out and Seth a brother of Osiris well not a brother in the in the, in the fleshly sense but a brother a brother like man should be brothers so she she played man out against each other and she hid Horus, the child, uh, at the River Nile. And she raised the child herself. So this is how the Isis and the sisters of Isis, they couldn't raise man new and again from scratch. By the way, after the uh, image, as the, uh, the witches and sisters of Isis and the witches of Europe and America, wanted to make a man so a uh, man after God's creation was created new by the European witches and this is what we see now they're just garden gnomes they say okay you go now and we'll feed you some Hollywood indoctrination and you go now and kill some people in Iraq or in Afghanistan these guys are no man anymore all their fathers and all their ancestors, they, were, they died in all these wars, the First World War, the Second World War. Uh, they, never, uh, they never had their fathers actually who could tell them, okay, son, life is like this and like this. And uh, there was a cut in the middle. And um, this is the idea of, uh, like we can say, the devil or the or the shaitan or the dajjal or whatever it's very bad and switzerland is the biggest base of the sisters of isis that's why we see on churches a lot we see 
I-H-S, which means Isis, Horus and Set, Seth. So this is an ideology.